What up, yo, people of the YouTube sensational, fantastical world. How art thou, guys? Um, I'm testing out this whole YouTube Hangout thing. Very new. I have 17 again on with the back yes, run, so I'm kind of kind of chill mode. So it's Labor Day. Liberty, Liberty Day. Um, what did I do today? I went to the store and got junk. I went to and got Cracker Jacks. And hold up. <coughs> Big sh shot. Only found in New Orleans, Louisiana. And scarce parts of Mississippi. Uh, I thought I was this needs to start. Okay. Um, and I guess um, when I want to do quick updates and be very, very lazy about it, I guess I'll probably start using this. Um, and, you know, I really would like to have people come on and talk. Uh, I enjoy the conversations very, very much. Being an only child sucks very much. It really does. It just needs to... Uh, but you know, you like that sometimes. Oh, wait. Awkward part. <laughs> smiley, smiley, smiley. Oh, and... Sterling. Okay, sorry. Um... Basically, what I wanted to say was that um, it's my first time using the Google Hangout thing, um, period, whether it be for YouTube or putting it um, on the air and stuff. Hey, look it. I'm using my cracked up iPod. Woohoo, all that tape on me. Stuff. Fantastic. Um, let me see. I am probably going to, well, I have school tomorrow. Thank God, I really like school. Um, I'm probably going to do my Avatar Last Airbender book one episode 11. And I don't know what episode 11 is. I probably, excuse me, whoo, ah, excuse me, I probably should go check to see what that is. Um, while I am checking that, Please enjoy Holy Musical Batman. I own nothing, it all belongs to Circuit.
The Great Divide. So let's move. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in the middle of being so oh, oh, oh. I'm in the middle of being so I'm in the middle of being so I came back and never turned up I'm in the middle of being so I love being a selfish one Now I'm falling apart I need much I'm not bad at my brush. Who's up there? A couple of nuts and half a banana. Oh, banana. The banana. What? I'm falling apart. I need a friend. Somebody to hold on to. Somebody. Somebody to put in the carpet, go get me the friendship. I'm ready to the friendship. If I had a buddy, just what we call friendship. Okay, before we get to my favorite part, um, the next episode is entitled The Great Divide. And for if anybody who's just, you know, curious, uh, the original air date was May 20th, 2005. It's kind of like, when I look at the dates for these, it's like, whoa, Avatar, I started watching this series when I was nine. Um, and before Katrina, on top of that. And so I'm just, I am pretty just shocked by how much this show has been a part of my life. Um, Almost, it's almost nine years of my life that this show has been just here, and it's really, it's really weird because um, when I'm 18, it'll be nine years, which will be you know half my life. Um, and the show is gonna be around more than half of my life because um, season three and season four of Avatar, and it's just. For those of you who have been influenced by this show, by Avatar or the fandom, period, um, just leave comments. Leave comments on how the show has impacted you. If you know, if it's just you know fictional character standpoint, or if it is a a you know deep understanding to it. I think one thing that has um, influenced me almost the most from this show is Zuko. Um, the fact that, you know, people are capable of change. And because this this kid, it really does tell you, you know, where you grew up from or, you know, what your background is and how it influences you. And for his story arc, for that for the whole Zuko thing, for three years for him to be developed from the banished prince to the avatar's best friend and the fire lord it's just it's, it's amazing you know how Mike and Brian can think of up this stuff like who just sits at home and is just like you know I should write a story about a prince with his father who abused him mentally and physically abused him and called him nothing and he compared to his sister and then at the end he's going to be number one yeah let's write that nobody the brain the the idea is just it's so brilliant and oh my headband's coming off sorry side story um it's just i i can't even i can't even 
think about, you know, um, the craziness of this show, how much the show has influenced me. And it's all, and it's all been positive, even though I've kind of deluded myself into thinking that I am a waterbender. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, but there are stories. Um, a good episode for, um, you know, story um, learning lessons is Southern Raiders. Um, revenge and forgiveness. That is out of all the, you know, Zuko and other people episodes. Yes, I know you guys, you Zutara friends are probably like, oh my god, I love that episode so much because it's Zutara, yay! I don't ship Zutara, I ship Katang. You guys know that. But I do respect the ship and its fan art and all that stuff. But the lesson in it was to forgive instead of trying to exact revenge. And you know, it kind of it has kind of the same principle as the promise. Um, when we're talking about um, to kill or not to kill, that type of thing. Uh, Aang is conflicted about you know killing Zuko throughout the whole entire promise, uh, keeping his promise, henceforth the name. And Katara, she has so much anger. I love season three Katara. If we have to go in stages of who Katara is, season one is like, oh my gosh, hope speeches, yay, everything will be okay, I'm a mom. Season two, it was more of a, okay, now she's really turning into like a teenager, like a adolescent cuckoo teenager. And then season three, I'm a boss. I am a waterbending boss. And... It was and it, and it was nice to see her finally, you know, kind of. I don't I don't have a word for it. Let loose. I think let loose is a good is a good way of describing her for that season. I'm not sure. Um. But I really I really enjoyed that episode. Um. To talk about another character. This is gonna be a stupid long video, like stupid long. Um, to talk about another character that I thoroughly enjoy would have to be Sokka, of course. Um, like I said in my last video, I believe, I'm glad that Sokka, he wasn't just, you know, comic relief the entire series. We don't laugh at Sokka because his scenarios get set up. We laugh at Sokka because he's freaking Sokka. Just because the stuff he says is canonly funny and just... Ah, the sarcasm is just uh, uh, a little much. But um, because of that, uh, it was good to know, you know, Sokka was not just here to be the non-bender. He grew, grew into the awesome kick-butt sword fighter that he is. And then Space Sword went bye-bye and we all the press for a little bit. Let me put the camera off just a little bit. There we go. Um, we were all kind of depressed because then the face went away. Um, I I still love the fact that he went through his loves. He went through his trials and his tribulations. You know, um, most of you guys know if you follow me on Tumblr, um, Princess Yue is one of my favoriteest, favoriteest um, side characters. And the fact that, you know, he's gone from UA to Suki, and then we have the whole Taka thing that I ship like FedEx. Um, and I just, uh, I just love how everything that Mike and Brian does, they put 110% into each character. I mean, Toph, you know, she's freaking, first of all, she's freaking blind. That is a big point on the series. It's like, Bender, blind, boom, we got Toph. And the fact that they made her an Earthbender um, made too. So that was a good choice for them. And the fact that Toph goes from being just flat out, um, I'm a kid and I don't care about anybody and blah, 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 blah. I just, I just want to kick butt all the time. Nobody can tell me what to do. It's just somebody who understands when, you know, she needs to be commanded and needs to rule a little bit. It was good to see that. 
and of course the person, the two people who have the biggest um, changes in characters, uh, in my opinion, Zuko Duh and Aang. Aang goes from being just this little 12 year old kid and I believe a year, I believe, um, you know, uh, it's only a few months that pass. Literally, um, we think that it makes it sound like, you know, the whole TV show is a whole entire year when it's not. It's from this summer, let's say, in the first um, few episodes, which is uh, The Winter Solstice, uh, Avatar Roku tells Aang that the comet is coming at the end of summer. And summer was probably approaching, which means this all happened in the same year. Now, Aang might still be 12, or he might have turned 13 someplace in there, whatever. But he goes from being a little kid to Avatar Aang. He's not just Aang. He's Avatar Aang. It's like at the end of Legend of Korra, when Tenzin wasn't just Korra. Tenzin was like Avatar Korra. Those types of growing up and developments are just, uh, it just makes, it just makes the series just so amazing. It just makes everything for, uh, I can't, I can't even, I can't even, like, uh, and now all we are waiting for is season two. I don't have not a clue what to really like finite predict besides the lack of spirits. Apparently according to um, Mike, we're supposed to have the most flashbacky of flashbacks and that should be just interesting as if. So I'm really pumped for that. Uh, then I think that, oh yeah, they're getting the heck out of Republic City. I'm excited for that. Um, I want to know what the heck happened to Ba Sing Sing. I really do. Um, I, I just, I'm really curious to what happened to Ba Sing Sing. And I have sunglasses on my glasses. That's so cool. Um, okay, who wants to know what happened to Ba Sing Sing? I want to know what happened to Amashu. I want to know why the Northern Water Tribe looks like Pooh now instead of the great gigantic castle that it was in the original series. I don't know whether to say that, you know, it's because the Fire Nation at Siege of the North Pole at the end of season one, I don't know if that's the reason why it looks like a freaking Southern Water Tribe just packed up and moved to the north and downgraded everything. That kind of, that, that was depressing. and. For most of you who don't know, um, some people know what I'm talking about, some people don't. Noah Talk and Tarlock are from the Northern Water Tribe. Most of you thought it was the Southern Water Tribe because of the way it looked. And I definitely was, I was definitely there with you because I was like, wait a minute, this looks like some tents and crap. That ain't no, that ain't no Northern Water Tribe. There ain't no northern, northern water tribe. It's southern water tribe. I have no clue why I have this accent. But we're gonna roll with this for a minute. I'm gonna stop now. Um, yeah, so we, I see the northern water tribe and why it looks like that. Because the, from the concept art stuff that they had, um, it looked, the festival looked beautiful. And, I hope, um, it was a, they just said a festival in the water tribe, and I wonder what the festival is. If they said it, somebody tell me, but from my own little prediction thing, if they haven't said it already, because I probably missed something, it, it might be in honor of Avatar Aang, or it could be in honor of UA saving everybody, which would be totally awesome, because she is Again, one of my favorite side characters, Eva. So, in honor of UA, in honor of Aang, uh, it could be just in honor of the end 
of the Amman madness, but that really is not, that wasn't, that only affected Republic City, so. Nah. I don't know. Oh, and to quote my favorite, favorite avatar YouTuber, I hope that you are doing good on your two year mission vlog, Eric, you freaking nerd. Um, he said that Tenzin was the big head of Republic City stuff. And oh, that was funny. It's like, okay, so Tenzin walks in and he's the big head of Republic City stuff. I forever laugh at that. So, low set. Um, anybody else got a, 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 just any clue of an idea what is um going on with season two? I just really, I really, really, really want to know. I mean, this. I think there, this is something called group chat on here. So if you have like a YouTube account or something, it says group chat. Uh, so you can type on it. I like to have conversation. That would be nice. Because um, usually when I live stream um, off of Ustream, and Ustream sucks now. Just to tell you guys, Ustream, just, Ustream kind of sucks. Um, Yep. Just tell me what you think. Oh, a lot of track team stuff. I love the track team so much. I want to work for um, Jeremy Zuckerman and work with him at some point because music is my passion and that is what I want to do is kind of write music for Avatar. That'd be cool. Um, because the year that I go to college, the show still won't be over. The show's not going to be over Hell, let's see, we got next year, 2013, will be season two. Probably going to make us wait till 2014 for season three, unless they're just cool like that. Um, or 14. So the show is going to end in either 2014 or 15. I'll still be in college. I'll be trying to get an internship with Nickelodeon so I can work on that show before it disappears out of my life. <laughs> I should probably stop. It's funny. Wait. Okay. It's the music that they play when Aang's having lots of fun. Okay, I should probably end this video because it's getting really, really long with this broadcast. So, thank you to um, all of you who are watching this video. You guys are awesome. Um, to my 41 subscribers, you guys are you guys are great. Um, what can I say? You come to watch me do Avatar nerd stuff and talk about comics and sing for no reason and make random videos about me being in a hurricane and uh, it's just I'm just, I'm glad that you know I have um, YouTube as an outlet. YouTube is really good outlet for me to get um, all my feelings and emotions out there since I am an only child and I can't really talk to mother because she's working and I you know this is just I just really love um, having conversations with you guys especially in the comments and on my Tumblr and the few of you who have kicked me so far. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I have to say, keep calm and bend the element.